So it's warmer today. So we're hoping that we can kind of get up and off before the sun hits the ice. That's not a good thing. We're climbing Stairway to Heaven, and like the name implies, it's a staircase. First pitch is steep ice, then it's a shelf where it's not nearly as steep. Then we get to a steep pitch again, it looks like, and then above that another shelf, and then a couple pitches, it looks like, of kind of mixed grade, some hard, some easy, up to the very top, a thousand feet above. I wanted to climb this icicle that looked pretty fragile. Every swing, I felt like it was gonna break. So I tried not to swing and just to hook as much as I possibly could on it. This thing was just hanging there. Pretty big chunk. It then broke off and I was watching it, so fortunately it didn't hit me, and I, I was out of the way of it. But it was a big bash. It was a big, big hit. Probably if I had really swung hard, the whole thing would have come down, and I wouldn't have liked that too much. Ooh. What's up here? Ice screws hold okay when you have ideal ice when you have great conditions and when it's solid. If you have soft ice or it starts melting out, ice screws won't hold then as well, obviously, because the ice is soft. We take great pains to avoid falling as much as we can because if you do fall on it, it will actually bend the ice screw to some degree such that it won't be used to useful again because they need to be perfect to actually make that perfect entry into the ice. Well, here we are standing about, uh, I don't know, 450 feet up off the initial climb uh, on a ledge about two feet wide, anchored to a tree. I put in more screws than I thought I was going to need to, but I chickened out, I guess, and kind of waiting for the uh, lead climbers ahead of us to get out of the way. Now they're raining ice and junk down on us. Uh, maybe another 10, 15 minutes we'll be able to finish up. A friend of mine and I decided to climb out Jefferson. It was late season, and we got up onto this shelf of snow about a foot wide, and we traversed about 500 feet around the face of the mountain. But I thought that if we went up about 100 feet, we could get to a shelf. So I went for it, but there was nothing there, just loose rock, nothing to anchor to. And I realized that I had to down climb of this very sketchy piece that I just climbed up. Climbing down, I did not have strong confidence that I would make it. It was, it was pretty scary. But obviously I made it, got down to the ledge, traversed back across this snow ledge, and got to stable ground where we sat down to kind of recollect ourselves. It was probably about 10 minutes after we had gotten off of the, the, the rocks when we watched this bowling ball-sized rock fall from the summit onto the field that we had just been on. And the whole section of rocks that we'd just been on slid off the mountain. And when I say off the mountain, it, it fell about a half mile down the mountain, bouncing through a very steep snow field. Certainly, if, if I had been on there 10 minutes later, I would have been wiped off the, the face of the earth. I mean, there was, there was no way I could have made it through, or him for that matter. When I think about that, and the moment I watched it, indeed it hit me that for whatever reason, I am not supposed to be dead right now. For some reason, I'm still alive. 
for some reason I have something left to accomplish, I suppose. And it gave me a very strong sense that I need to be very intentional in what I do because I still have a purpose. I still have something that I believe God is calling me to do.